Okay, people always use the term nice guy like casually as if everyone understands what that means when people say nice guy. But I'm not sure about that. So I'm gonna define nice guy. Or more accurately, I'm gonna tell you what a nice guy is not because I think a lot of people get confused. A lot of people seem to think that there's only two types of guys, nice guys and assholes. And I don't really think that's the case, or at least if it is the case, I would say that the vast majority of guys are assholes, especially the ones that go around claiming to be nice guys. Being nice does not mean being passive and letting people walk all over you or putting everyone before yourself or not going for what you want in life. That just makes you a doormat and a wimp. Contrary to popular belief, being assertive is not the same as being an asshole. Being cocky isn't even the same as being an asshole. Yeah, you can be a cocky nice guy. I think I'm like that sometimes actually. In fact, sometime in your duty as a nice guy, you will be required to take a stand for what is right or just for what you want out of life. And you're not going to get anywhere if you're just a little bitch all the time. Being nice does not mean you have to avoid confrontation. You get to have opinions too. Sometimes I hear guys say things about these girls that they're in love with. She's just so perfect. I could just like sit there and listen to her talk. No dude, she's not perfect. She's a person. She needs support. She needs your opinions. And unless she's as fucked up as you are, she does not need to be worshipped. You don't have to let her win everything and dominate everything and control every conversation. You don't have to give her everything you think she wants. If you're only being nice in order to get someone to like you, first off, bad strategy. Second of all, not actually being nice. Actually, that's kind of a dick thing to do. Either you want to be friends with a girl or you want to be more than friends with a girl. And if you want to be more than friends with a girl and you don't act like you want to be more than friends with the girl, she's going to friend zone you. And if she friend zones you, obviously that means that she thinks that you're her friend, which you're obviously not because you don't want to be her friend. You want to be more than friends. So basically what you're doing right now is you're being really fake and that's not very cool. See, there's this myth that nice guys get put in the friend zone simply for being nice, but that's not the case. Friends get put in friend zone because they're being very friendly. Look, dude, the world doesn't owe you shit for being nice, and girls certainly don't either. You're supposed to be nice to people. You don't get a cookie for doing stuff that you should be doing anyway. These nice guys, they want everyone to pity them. They want girls to just be like, oh, that guy is just so friendly, and that makes me want to fuck him. I think we should all know by now that that's not how it works, right? So look, just let me get this straight. Correct me if I'm wrong. Basically, you're saying that if, if you made the world, if it was your perfect world, women would just fall at your feet for no other reason than you're relatively cordial. It's like, fuck you. Who are you? What What makes you think that's that makes sense? Or maybe maybe you're even like super nice. You like shower her with gifts. You just always there for her. And you're like, why didn't she like me now? Dude, this is not a fucking transaction where you walk to the cashier and pull out your nice bucks and buy sex and romance. Dude, snap out of it. Dude, that's a person. That's a fucking human being we're talking about. It's not a piece of meat on the plate. That is not a blue ribbon at the fair. That is a person with her own goals and her own opinions and her own desires. She doesn't owe you anything. The trait that all four of these guys have in common is insecurity. They're all doing things for the sole purpose of getting people to like them or getting people to love them, which is not why you do stuff. They either come on too strong or they don't come on at all. They make other people responsible for their happiness. And if they do end up in relationships, they're usually what I like to call crack relationships where one person is the user and the other person is the drug. I hope you can tell by the metaphor I use that that's not a good thing. I think it's true that assholes often get girls, but I don't think it's true that girls who say they want nice guys intentionally date asshole. That doesn't really make any sense if you think about it. That would be like if I said, I think I want some ice cream and I went and bought an apple instead. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Girls are irrational. Fuck off. See, what's really happening here is when a girl says she wants a nice guy, she's not talking about you. She's talking about a fun, confident, honest, kind guy with a sense of humor. You, you're just an insecure drama queen. That's not sexy. I read an article recently that differentiated between the word nice and the word kind. And that's kind of contrived, but maybe we need to do something like that because you fuckers have tarnished the term nice guy so much that people use it as a slur now. Here's what a nice guy is. A nice guy is a confident person that values generosity and compassion. A nice guy does not feel entitled to a reward for his good deeds. Nice guys speak for themselves, and while they do offer to support people when they need it, they don't try to fix broken people. And girls do like nice guys just real ones or whatever what do i know Holla.